Okie okay, okay, back again for another macro metrics video because rising stock prices do not equal economic health. So today we're going to go through a bunch of things. Basically it's I told you so, I told you so, I told you so and duh. Um, but yeah, <laughs> bit of a snarky video, let's crack on. Right, so the first one is this. This is um, Cineworld basically saying they're going to shut all of their uh, UK and US cinemas. And I mean, this is no shock to me. I've been saying it in a lot of the previous videos. Basically, cinemas were screwed to begin with. Um, they were struggling. Um, they're a bit like an airliner. They needed uh, such a high occupancy, occupancy rate just to break even. And with lockdown pretty much across the Western or most of the world, um, it's it's been a massive you know throat punch basically, <laughs> um, and this is just the, the beginning. Uh, like Cineworld, Cine, Cineworld is literally just the start. Next, it's going to be you know Odeon or View or you know uh, pretty much any other cinema. I mean, hell, the user experience is just screwed up. It's like going to a bloody COVID prison. Like you. You're not allowed to walk anywhere unguided. You're not allowed to leave after the film is finished without a guide. It's the user experience ha is just dead now, and, and as a result, they're not selling as much popcorn. <laughs> um, and it's the same with like high street shopping chains as well. The user experience has just disappeared. So, what does this mean? What does Cineworld and and other cinemas about to crash or close mean? Well, obviously, lots of people are going to be losing their jobs. That's not going to be good for um, the money velocity because people then have to start saving and um, reducing their spend um, so that's one thing which we've already spoken about many a time um, but high street commercial property is absolutely buggered Be buggered beyond belief buggered the be buggered <laughs> buggered beyond repair um, and so all of the shopping malls around the world are massively behind their obligations because obviously small businesses are being hurt and uh, I mean, hell, I'm from Norwich, and there's a shopping mall called the Castle Mall, and I mean that was dying before the lockdown, but it's it's getting desperate now. Um, it's so empty that they're having to repurpose the empty spaces as table football zones or table tennis room or whatever. But it, they're screwed. So what does it mean? I think well, Rishi is obviously very keen on helping the property market, so the measures for you know planning is are being laxed. So, hell, there's probably going to be a little boom of, you know, commercial to resi. Um, so there may be a little, yeah, commercial to resi boom. Who knows? Uh, but ultimately, that's going to add supply uh, to the resi property market. And I think, I mean, you know, long, I'm long, medium to long term bearish on all property. Um, it's, it's going to roll over when the indices uh, roll over. So, yeah, that's Cine World. Expect more um so if you have share in fact here's a good tip short cinema stocks around the world um so yeah that that's the first one so let's get rid of that uh what else do we have we have christine lagarde saying this um blah 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 we should uh, where is it basically she's saying that um the ecb should launch a digital euro um, Europeans inc are increasingly turning to digital in the ways that they spend, save and invest. We should be prepared to issue a digital euro. Now, I actually have contacts. Oh my lord. And someone's at the door. Sorry. A few moments later. Right, where were we? So, um, I'm so unfit. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I just had to run down the stairs. And yeah, that's pretty much the most ex exercise I do going up and down stairs. <laughs> Anywho, um, what were we talking about? Yeah, so this is nothing new. Um, so I actually have contacts in the ECB and they've been working on a digital currency for years now. This isn't like a, hey, maybe we should make a digi euro. This is just a, a standard play. They sort of, whenever they bring in something new, when I say they, any big organization, government, bank, uh, or company, they sort of leak it to begin with, or tease it, and then when when the public is sort of oh yeah that that, that you know they're sort of aware of it, then they bring it forward. And whew, still trying to catch my breath, I need to do more, more exercise, or at least some would help. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, so if you go to my... Uh, and, and this is big news, by the way. If the Euro... If they release a digital Euro, this is... Um, this video, the one... One of my earlier videos just coming true, left, right and centre. So if you go to my YouTube channel and then go down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down to this one. Who do we owe all of this debt to? It's a nine minute video. It's worth watching. But basically, I talk about, um, this is uh, an expert panel I did years ago, and I started talking about why the world is going cashless and why they want to digitize, digitize all of the currencies. Um, it's it's going to be huge. Long story short, if we're, if yeah, this one here. Um, once everyone's in um, digitize, you can't flee to cash. You can't hide cash. You can't do anything. So they can tax you at source. They can tax you straight away. Um, if you try and squirrel money into crypto, they'll know what that is, and they'll probably just tax you like a crypto tax. Um, there is no hiding. And once you can't flee to actual hard cash, they can go. The world can just go to negative rates, and all of a sudden, the tax. Um, men around the world just start making an absolute fortune so yeah this is huge definitely watch this video who do we owe all this debt to um, it's yeah it's, it's important so that's that one yeah there's all sorts of articles about Christine Lagarde I mean this is coming and it's not just the ECB it'll be every central bank it'll be the Bank of England releasing the digital sterling of some sort so yeah, and they'll use digital. It won't technically they'll be using crypto-based currencies like blockchain, etc. Um, but hey, um, so the next one is someone tweeted me yesterday a picture of this. So Chris, cheers. Hopefully you've been watching my macro metrics video, and someone had tweeted, uh, posted out this picture. It's U.S. velocity of money. Um, it says the source is Bloomberg. Now I've looked at, I've tried to find this particular chart on the Federal Reserve website. I can't find it, but let's just look at it. And it's the it's MV, which we've been talking about a lot, uh, year on year as a percentage, okay? So when we compare this to the actual MV, you'll see like MV over here has absolutely fallen off a cliff. Um, and this is a ratio, this isn't percentage year on year. But I guess what this picture shows us is that when obviously it's really zooming in to, to local times. We had the 2000, uh, 2001 crash, okay? And then by 2002, 2003, uh, we had another rally. Uh, and as you can see here, the money, the velocity of money increased, okay? Which means that people started spending more, there's more transactions, more borrowing, uh, etc. happening, and therefore it helps uh, an economy recover. Then we have the, the subprime mortgage collapse, um, as some people call the GFC, the great financial crash. Um, and then look at what MV did. We massively spiked up and that helped recovery. Well, what's happening now is nothing. It, we are literally flatlining. This was first gunshot, second gunshot, and then double tap to the head. This is like, <laughs> we are, there's no recovery from this. Um, and so this is why I'm massively bearish on indices, stocks, um, sorry, indices, all equity capital markets full stop pretty much um, this yeah um, and this is why I'm bullish on things like crypto gold and silver um, so yeah you have to be aware of MV it doesn't matter how much they print they can print a hundred trillion dollars if no one's doing any transacting or and there's no nothing ha there's literally no no movement of money then it doesn't matter it will never hit the economy and this I mean, when you look at the actual Federal Reserve one, uh, as, as you can see, it's it's just flatlining. Um, what this means is it's just inevitable for a, a form of helicopter money or or stand slash UBI, Universal Basic Income. It will come, and it will have probably a time stamp on it. Like here's eight hundred dollars. You have to spend it within thirty days. So guess what? Everyone will go spending. Um, Okay, there's a builder next door in in the bath. He's fixing a bath uh, or um, a toilet in the in the next room, next door's bathroom. So apologies for the background. Um, yeah, so that's it in a nutshell, really. Um, hopefully that makes sense. I feel bad for all the cinema workers. Um, just please, if you're working for View or Odeon or any cinema, just you need to basically start pivoting now. Look for 
something else um, because shit is going to hit the storm. And in fact, just for shits and giggles, I don't, I don't trade stocks. Um, I'm a currency and commodity and indice trader. But let's, is Cine World here? Yes, Cine Group, here we go. If it hasn't gone to zero, I'm surprised. Wow, okay, so as you can see here, this is obviously the daily chart. It's been falling for, I mean, look at this. It was, it was, it reached a high in sort of April 2019, and then it's been falling, 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 and then March was simply just the, you know, game over. Um, and so what we're seeing here is, okay, so, but long story short, it's gapped down over here. It's probably going to fill the gap, and what, what is likely to happen is we'll probably retest this $40 level, and then it's, see ya. Going, yeah, it may go to zero. Uh, it's quite likely. If, I mean, if they're closing all their cinemas, what else other in, what other income streams do they have? So, game over. Does Odeon have a ticker? Let's have a look. Odeon. Odeon film. Okay, looks like it. Hmm. Doesn't know. Uh, I don't know. What about view? Whilst we're here, let's have a look. They probably do, but I need to Google what you know their their parent or their holding company is. But uh, yeah, anyway, that's all for now. Hopefully, I will see you soon and chat soon. Oh yeah, sorry about the dressing gown. Yeah, I, I barely get dressed these days. I literally, um, yeah. <laughs> Bye.